This video isn't like the normal ones we usually have. Um, I didn't really even, I don't think I even talked to the camera once when I was in Albuquerque. But uh, this is just clips like from the whole weekend. Most of it's racing. Um, it, like really there was no street racing after the event. It was, uh, it was a little upsetting. I wound up leaving because there was a car show Sunday the day after the drag racing big thing called uh, Desert Fest. I was supposed to go to that but I had to work Sunday night. I had to go in at midnight. Showed it in start till 4. And it's a four hour drive home. So do the math there. It wasn't it wasn't smart for me to stay in and I would have to like I would have gone to work on no sleep and this and that. So I wound up leaving like three o'clock in the morning, Saturday night, going home. But I did the, it was a great weekend. Good time, great friend, shout out to Ricky, let him stay there and all that. Um his BMW's real nice. If you haven't been on my Instagram, you need to check it out. You could have seen all the cool stuff from the weekend. Got to Meet Kyle again from 1320, talk to him a little bit about his car. Um, sadly, his first race of the night, he broke out of his class. And he was in the 10-0 the class. Um, you couldn't run faster than the 1020, and he ran a 1010 his first run, so he broke himself out. Kind of sucks. Wanted to see him run more, but uh, you'll see in the clips, or at least the ones that weren't like test and tune between rounds or whatever, but you see that the number that's on. Um, that's on the screens at the end of the track is the class so suppose it says like 10 20 or like 11 40 or whatever you can't go faster than that number and that's how you how you stay competitive in those classes so you go there you do your testing too and then you sign up for whatever class um and then they like the day of they draw a number and then they make it so it's not exactly 10 0 or exactly 11 they change it around so you can't just like dial your shit in like perfectly at like a 10 one and just, you know, take the whole class that easily. So, anyway, it was a great-ass time. Uh, next year, I will definitely be entering the event. There's actually a second all-out call-out towards the end of the summer, so maybe I'll go to that as well. But the uh, the end of this month, the 29th, there is a roll race event in Amarillo. Um, the EQT will be going in, today's Wednesday, the EQT will be going in Friday, and I'll be tuning uh, for the next couple weeks up until that event. I need to, be get, I need to try and get on the dyno before that event as well, but uh, that'll be the first event with the new turbo in, and then it should be autocross the weekend after that, I believe, but um, mid next month is uh, Streetcar Takeover Denver, so if any of you guys that live anywhere near there, I will be there for that event. I'm going to enter the event and race in that event. Um, it's going to be super high altitude, so I don't expect any like crazy runs or anything, but Denver's fun. I'd like to go up there, and the, the, the track is beautiful too, so I'd like to go up there and uh, have some fun on their track. Pleased to say I did it. I've been going to these streetcar takeover events for like three years, and I haven't had one once, so this will be the year. Go up there, have some fun. Um, that's about all I got. Enjoy the video. It's a bunch of races. Um, pretty much it. It was a good time, though. Uh, definitely regret not entering. I should have just did it. Um, with the whole confusion with the EQT when it was going to show up and being able to tune and this and that and then how quickly uh, signups got, I mean, they, they, they filled up quick. They, they sold out fast. So anyway, it's like 6.30 in the morning. I just got off of work. So this is like, I edited out work. Now I'm about to go to bed. So don't mind me. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I appreciate it. Um, enjoy it. Make sure you drop a thumbs up and I'll see you guys probably Monday. Like I said, Turbo's going in this Friday. I'm um, be doing tuning, tuning all the next couple weeks and stuff. Big brake kit should be here within the next week or two. Uh, yeah, that's all I got. Enjoy the video. They really are racing.
189 at 140. RS versus a Corvette. 